Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to get records between two given dates using SQL data source with grid view control. And here we got the output of that code the search records between two given dates from and to using SQL data source with grid view control. Notice the employee join table is binded. Now let's search for the records to given dates. I'm searching the month to the date 24, 2017 from and the two date I'm giving 111, 2008. The month is 1, date is 11, 2018. 2018. Now let's get the records between these two given dates. Search records. See here we got Charan, Chetrika, Ben and Vamsi are the records between these two given dates from this EMP join table. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET, First we will check the table and the column names I want to display. The table name is EMP join which contains three columns employee id, employee name and EMP join date. Now my aim is I want to get the records from and to dates in a grid view control using SQL data source. Let's start the coding part. For this video tutorial I am creating a new ASP.NET application go to file new project from the web templates I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the application name is get records to dates is the application name click OK And from the templates, I'm selecting empty. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's open Solution Explorer. Now, in this project, I'm adding one web form page. I click the project name, add web form. The web form name is Get Records. Click OK. And here we got the source page of the getRecords.aspx page. Now between form and due tag, I'm adding center tag h1. How to search between how to search records between two given dates from and to. using SQL data source and with grid view horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding two text box controls one to enter the from date and the second text box is a to date and one button control to submit the dates and grid view control to display the records and I'm adding one SQL data source control. So let's add the controls, open toolbox. Text box control is a from date text box from I'm adding the date mode text mode is equals to date let's copy this one this one is a to date the text box ID I'm changing to text to after adding the text box control now let's add the button control button control and changing the button text to search records of 
for that. Horizontal line. I'm adding a grid view control open toolbox. Come to the bottom. I'm expanding the data folder. Here is a grid view control. After adding the grid view control, now I'm adding the SQL data source open toolbox. SQL data source control. That's it. We have added the necessary controls on the source page. Now let's switch to the design mode. Now select the SQL data source. Notice there is a small button. Click that one, which is a SQL data source task configured data source. I'm adding new connection. The server name is. After adding server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB test connection. I succeeded. Okay, okay. Click next. Click next. I'm selecting the table name from the sample DB. The table name is the EMP join. This one. Next text query finish. After that, double click the button control. In the page load event, if if now page dot is post back grid view one dot data source is equals to now in the data source I'm adding the SQL data source ID which is the SQL data source one SQL data source one let's bind the grid view control grid view one dot data bind method after binding the EMP join table into this grid view control using SQL data source now in the button click event I'm writing the code to fetch the records between the two given dates so here I'm adding SQL data source one dot select command now between these double quotes I'm writing the select statement select start from the table name is dbo.emp join copy that one where the column name the date column name is emp join date copy that one paste here between the given dates between single quotes plus plus double quotes single quotes and double quotes single quotes double quotes plus plus double quotes single quotes and double quotes now between this plus plus the first control I'm adding the from control from text box text box from dot text and two text box text box two dot text property after adding the select command to fetch the records between from and to dates I want to bind those records into the grid view control grid view one dot data source is equals to combining with SQL data source one grid view one dot data bind method that's it that's it we have done the complete coding part but before run this application switch to the source mode now in the grid view control when the records are not found to the given dates I want to display the message no records found so here um, empty data text is equals to no records found and uh, show header when empty is equals to true that's it we have done the complete coding part 
Let's check the results on the browser Google Chrome. And here we got the output of that code. The search records between two given dots from and to using SQL data source with grid view control. Notice the employee join table is binded. Now let's search for the records to given dates. I'm searching the month to the date 24, 2017 from and the two date I'm giving 111, 2008. The month is 1, date is 11, 2018. 2018. Now let's get the records between these two given dates. Such records. See here we got Charan, Chetrika, Ben and Bamsi are the records between these two given dates from this EMP join table. That's it.